Hey everyone and welcome back to another Dropified video training tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to get started using default settings in Dropified. Now default settings make it so that every time you import a product from AliExpress or another one-click supported vendor, you can just apply different pricing settings, comparison prices, and things like that by default. Now you can always go in and edit them later, but we're going to show you how to get started setting up your defaults right now. So once you log into Dropify, if you go to the home screen, go all the way down to settings in the left hand side menu. So now you can see, you can look at all of the different things you can set by default. So you can set your price markups by 100% if you want to make 100% on every single product you sell. So you'll make double what you paid from AliExpress. You can also set it to compare at other prices, meaning you can set it at uh, 200 percent so you're saving people about a hundred percent in savings now you can set your default weights in pounds this one's really important so the price sense value essentially makes it so that you can set the default sense price at the end of each of your prices so say you mark up a product a hundred percent and with that you get a product that is selling for like four dollars and eighty seven cents 87 cents is kind of a weird number to sell something at, so what you can do is make it default to 95 cents, or 95 cents, or 99 cents, or 75 cents, whatever you want your product to end in, so that way it's uniform and things look very specific. So you can also do the same thing with the compare price, so if you want to make sure it's all the same or even an even zero. So now if you look down here you can even go into more advanced options. So you can make different rules right here so you can set the minimum price so that say you have a really cheap product from AliExpress and you mark it up a hundred percent and it's still only like 87 cents like that can happen but you don't want to sell something for 95 cents or 87 cents or something cheap you want to set a minimum price on it. So you can make sure that when the product is rounded up, you can make sure that the product hits a certain price point when you migrate it over. So if I set it to $5, nothing that I import will be set at below $5 from AliExpress or eBay or Amazon, anything like that. You can also make it so that with more expensive products, you don't want to mark something up from $100 to $400 because that is a huge jump from the price. You probably want to mark it up something else. So if you're selling electronics or things like that, you can set the max price to $500 or $300, things like that. So you can also choose how it applies it, what the price is, the compare price, everything like that. You can just set how you choose. I'm going to close this out. And so all of these different tools give you a ton of different options on how to set up your store to make sure you're making exactly what you want and you're only charging customers the exact amount you want. Again, you can always go in and individually edit all of these products by themselves, but this is just a great place to get started when you're setting up your store for the first time because this way you're not going to get any crazy in increases in price or you're not going to be overcharging customers based off of different things like that. So all of these different tools are really helpful to go through when you're first setting up Dropified because this is going to be the default for almost every product you import. So if you go here, you can actually set your own phone number to autofill and override a customer's phone number. So if anything happens with an order with AliExpress, you can get a phone call instead of the customer because chances are the customer is not going to realize that something went wrong or how to fix it. So you can put in custom notes. It's good practice to put in this is a drop shipping order if you're drop shipping and do not put an invoice in the e-packet. So they will see that and they won't put an invoice in and send the customer what you paid for it. 
You can also set default shipping methods, automatically mark as ordered, automatically fulfill, which is fantastic. That's going to save you a ton of time. Shipping confirmations will be sent to the customers. And you can actually set it so that if there is no tracking number, not to send an auto shipping confirmation, you can take care of that yourself as well. So all of these are going to be on by default. This way, CAPTCHA solving means you don't have to go in and actually enter the CAPTCHAs to make sure that you're not a quote-unquote robot. That's going to be really important in saving you time. There's just so many things you can go in and fix so that it's saving you time efficiently and you can really set this up in any way you'd like so that everything is pretty automatically streamlined to be as efficient as possible for you. So once you're done, make sure to press save or all of this isn't going to save, obviously. And so now, all of these settings are set. You can always go back and change them later. But for now, we are done setting them up. So that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or reach out to our customer support. Thank you so much and have a great day.